Mount Sinai has a unique and very uh, established history in the specialty of liver diseases or hepatology. We established a freestanding division of liver diseases led by Fenton Schaffner in 1965, and we have remained independent but highly collaborative with gastroenterology since that time. We've had many firsts, certainly beginning with Fenton Schaffner and his partner and a major leader of the specialty, Dr. Hans Popper, who was the founding dean of this medical school as well as an icon in the field of hepatology. We were also the first institution in New York State to begin liver transplantation and we continue to have a thriving program led under the Reconati Miller Transplant Institute uh, in which the hepatology support is provided by our faculty in the Division of Liver Diseases. Because of our long-standing excellence in uh, taking care of people who have uh, advanced liver disease, uh, Mount Sinai has attracted the very best in, in, in multidisciplinary uh, approaches. We have some of the finest liver pathologists, interventional radiologists, uh, people who excel in transplant immunology, molecular uh, biology. We work together as a group, and that's one of the many reasons why uh, patients get the best in uh, transplant care, care here, the most compassionate uh, care here. We have wonderful collaborative uh, liver transplant surgeons uh, who do their best in terms of innovative techniques uh, to try to get our patients transplanted in a, uh, in a timely fashion. What I'm extremely proud of is that our division really studies problems from the very beginning in terms of the molecular basis and we follow them through truly from bench to bedside. Dr. Kirsten Sadler Edipley has a wonderful and unique model in which she induces fatty liver disease in the fish. We're trying to understand how the initial insults, um, whether it's alcohol or some other type of stress, leads to fat accumulation in the primary cell of the liver, the hepatocyte. So we use zebrafish to do this. So amazingly, the cells of the zebrafish liver look just like that of their mammalian counterparts. They're organized a little bit differently. Zebrafish provide a really excellent model to take both genetic approaches as well as uh, cell, cell biology based approaches to dissect how does a cellular stress lead to lipid accumulation in hepatocytes, which is what is um, the first stage of fatty liver disease. We are unique in that we have um, tremendous basic scientists as well as creative clinical researchers and physician scientists that can bridge both worlds. In addition, we have great relationships with our surgeons who are able to provide a lot of the specimens that we need to use to do uh, translational research. So what you need is people and infrastructure, and we have both. Our division is amazing in that all of us are both mentors and mentees at the same time. We're constantly learning and we're constantly teaching. And I think that allows for tremendous professional <laughs> growth. We probably have uh, upwards of uh, two or three dozen trials ongoing and enrolling uh, at any one time and they cover the full gamut of diseases, not only viral hepatitis B and C, fatty liver disease, hepatocellular carcinoma, and immunologic diseases like primary biliary cirrhosis, autoimmune hepatitis. Every patient is a potential candidate for a clinical trial. There are wonderful opportunities for patients. They get extra attention. They get new drugs that, that they can't get on the market. Of course, everything's free, and we even pay them sometimes. And also, we are, we're advancing science. We're uh, participating in the clinical trials for hepatitis C that are run globally. Uh, personally, I'm the global principal investigator for several of these clinical trials, and drugs will be introduced at warp speed compared to the way HIV drugs were, were introduced. Now, we've also leveraged our, our expertise in hepatitis C trials to hepatitis B trials, to fatty liver trials, and trials for the end result of, of all those three diseases, which is liver cancer. We also have superb and unique outreach to the communities. We do extensive screening in the populations that are at risk for viral hepatitis throughout this varied city of New York. The Division of Liver Disease at Mount Sinai has had a long-standing commitment to community outreach and really working with underserved communities with unmet medical needs. What we do is we work with community-based organizations, community providers, and community health centers 
to try to reach communities that are at risk for both hepatitis B and C. We actually go out to the different boroughs to find the different communities that are at risk and do education in their native language and then offer free screening. We're actually able to provide prevention through hepatitis B vaccines for free through our partnership through the City Department of Health and then counsel those that are positive and, and really convince them th about the need to come in for follow-up care. And over 75% of our patients who test positive for hepatitis B and C come in for further follow-up care. Mount Sinai offers a unique uh, educational experience for fellows uh, because one of the things that's special about Mount Sinai is that it, we get a breadth of uh, exposure to liver diseases, it being the, a, a um, referral site for a major me metropolitan area and in combination with the fact that there's a strong emphasis on education and teaching here uh, makes this a place of unparalleled uh, uh, educational uh, resources for us fellows. Monsign is special in the sense that you know despite the fact that people have this great world-renowned reputation they're very approachable um, they're very uh, congenial uh, to work with uh, which makes you know, coming to work Nice. You're never going to see a more thriving, collaborative culture than the one we see here, not only involving our clinicians, but also reaching through to our scientists who talk regularly with our clinicians to generate ideas, to focus their work, and ultimately to enrich one another.